What's up, y'all? This is Just Jay Hernandez, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Royal Guard from Savage Crucible. Here we go. All right, so today in the house, we're going to be taking a look at the Royal Guard from Wave 1 of Savage Crucible's hugely successful Kickstarter campaign. Hugest of thanks to all the folks at Savage Crucible for this opportunity and getting to take an early look at one of your paint masters here. I congratulate you all on the continued success you've been having on the campaign, and with close to two weeks left, there is nowhere to go but up. Anyway, I digress. The short, short version of this video is that even for a paint master... I really like this figure. Terrific sculpt, phenomenal paint, awesome articulation from what's functional here, plus sweet scale, as you can see. For me, it fits in with six and seven inch scale figures. I can dig it. Fairly versatile if you're looking for any baddies for any of your more heroic figures to square off with. Now, I'm gonna preface this video by saying again, this this is a paint master. I gotta be super duper careful with this guy. This is the exact same figure D Amazing took a look at about a month ago. I'm basically starting from where he left off here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and go through your typical Jay Hernandez video. But being as careful <laughs> as, we, as we possibly can with an irreplaceable prototype. So with that said, let's go ahead and just take a look at this guy. Let me explain it. And now for our feature presentation.
All right, so a lot of careful fun with this guy. All right, so starting from top to toe, I love the head sculpt. Plenty of expression that can be had with the articulated jaw, the intense stare in the eyes. Plus, you seriously got to dig all this texture. And speaking of texture, just get a load of the sculpt work here. The detailing of the scales, the rigidness of the armor, it makes for a nice combination. Everything here is working overtime. Super impressive in my opinion. Plus, most of the armor does not get in the way of articulation. All the armor around the legs has been cast in soft plastic, for real. All the folks at Savage Crucible have been taking their notes. Now paint, if paint is even half as good as what it is that we are seeing here, we are looking at a winner of a line when this goes into production. A lot of punched up detail in the armor, plus the shading and gradients on the bod, the stripage, it adds an enormous amount of definition to the reptilian skin on this royal guard here. It's outstanding all around. Accessories. I definitely ain't complaining here, like, at all. Let's start off with the armor here. You have the option of going fully geared up or, as we see here, paired down. It's terrific. Gives you a lot of opportunity for a variety of looks if you pick up more than one of each figure. And hands. We mustn't forget about hands. We've got some nice gripping hands for these wonderful freaking double grip stances. And of course, we've got our splayed hands as well. And finally, we do have a couple of massive, massive swords. These things are monstrous. <laughs> I love them. And they can be stored in the sheaths on his waist for safekeeping. Articulation. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, this is a paint master. You're not going to get to see the full extent of articulation in the poses I was able to achieve. But with what I was able to pull off with a few loose bits and pieces falling off, like I said in the paint section, if it's even half as good as what we're looking at here, again, Savage Crucible is a dang winner. I mean, for openers, get a load of this hunch, y'all. It's, it's freaking good, man. Plenty of swivel and ball joints, all the sculpt with none of the wonkiness. I love it. So, with all of this talk about articulation, let's go ahead and take a look at that now. This feeling of our own existence may be a hallucination. People prick up their ears and would like to know... Is there some other mode of consciousness which one can be in, which is not this alienated? Because we feel, I think, many of us very, very strongly, that if there is such a place, we would like to be there. That, of course, entails difficulties, which we shall go into. But this is the starting point of the fascination for yoga, for Zazen, and also for the Taoist forms of meditation. It is fascinating that an increasingly large number of people in the United States have become interested It is fascinating that an increasingly large number of people in the United States have become interested in the practice of what may generally be called meditation. It is fascinating. 
All right, so let's go and get an idea of how this guy scales. Now, scale has always been very, very important to me. Aside from articulation, the one thing I want to know is how does something look and size up with the rest of my stuff? Let's go ahead and find out. So I'm sure a lot of people are curious about this. Here's how he scales up with Animal Warriors of the Kingdom and Mythic Legions. And I thought these two would be appropriate. Here's how he scales with Mezco Conan and Death Dealer. And staying within the realm of fantasy, here's how he scales with Trese and Lady Death from Loose Collector. And for some true 7 inch scale stuff, here's how he scales with a few pieces from NECA. And just as a catch all, here's how he scales with a few figures that I had right by me. And last, but certainly not least, here's how he scales with Deadpool and Black Costume Spider Man. All right, y'all. So that is basically all I've got for today. So in closing, like I've been saying all video long, I absolutely dig what I'm looking at here. And it makes me really happy seeing awesome product coming from original IPs. Whether it be Savage Crucible, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, Mythic Legions, we've got a lot of impressive work coming from independent companies out there. And like I've been saying since the end of 2022, we are truly living in a golden age of collecting everyone. So be sure to take advantage. All the info you need for Savage Crucible will be down in the description below. Make sure to get your order in before the deadline. You're not going to want to miss out. All right, y'all. With that said, we are going to go ahead and sign off. If you dig what it is you just saw, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, feel free to comment, respect yourself, respect those around you, and we will go ahead and check you later. And as always, stay frosty.